I think you need practice dummies made of sturdier stuff. That would be nice. Like maybe iron. Did I do the right thing? <sighs> what I have set in motion here could destroy everything I have revered my whole life. One day they may write about me as a traitor, a madwoman, a fool. And they may be right. What does your faith tell you? I believe you are innocent. I believe more is going on here than we can see. And I believe no one else cares to do anything about it. They will stand in the fire and complain that it is hot. But is this the Maker's will? I can only guess. Isn't it a bit late to worry about it now? We have only just begun. My train is always said, Cassandra, you are too brash. You must think before you act. I see what must be done, and I do it. I see no point in running around in circles like a dog chasing its tail. But I misjudged you in the beginning, did I not? I thought the answer was before me, clear as day. I cannot afford to be so careless again. Can't say I'm not grateful to hear that. I can be harsh, I know. You've said you don't believe you're chosen. Does that mean you also don't believe in the Maker? No, I don't. I suppose I should not be surprised. I have to believe we were put on this path for a reason, even if you do not. Now it simply remains to see where it leads us. It occurs to me I don't actually know much about you. What do you want to know? I'm not sure. Where are you from? My clan never stayed in one place for long, though we primarily roamed the free marshes. Oh? I didn't think your people roamed that far north, but clearly I'm mistaken. I'm told some members of your clan might still be alive. Do you intend to go back? Wherever I am is home enough for me. That's how I feel now after years of tending to business for the Divine. I'd like to get to know you better. You would? Is that a problem? Not entirely. I'm just curious as to your motivations. You're a very suspicious person. You know that. When it's warranted. Hmm. I can see why you have so many friends. As you wish. My name is Cassandra Pentecost, daughter of the Royal House of Navarra, 78th in line for the Navarran throne. I joined the Seekers of Truth as a young woman and was with the Order until they withdrew from the Chantry. I remained as the Divine's right hand, carrying out her order to form the Inquisition. And here we are. That's all there is to know, my lady. You're a member of Navarra's royal family. The Pentagasts are a very large clan. Half of Cumberland could say the same. Really? No, but it feels that way. I have hundreds of relatives so distant they need charts to prove we're related at all. And they have them. Oh, yes. The Pentagasts value their precious blood like it runs with gold. And you joined the Seekers to get away from that? It was a life worth getting away from. The Pentagasts are famed for dragon hunting. 
But few actually pursue the craft. Most are fat and lazy. They pay lip service to the Maker and care only for idle pleasures and past glories. My brother was all that kept me in Navarra. Once he was gone, so was I. Tell me about your brother. I would prefer not to speak of Antony. Another time, perhaps. So you were the right hand to the Divine? To Divine Justinia, yes. And Divine Beatrix before her, in fact. The position is normally reserved for Templars of the Knights Divine. But my circumstances were unusual. Unusual how? You don't know the story? Thank the Maker. I will tell you if you wish, but it isn't as exciting as some drum it up to be. The short version is that I once saved the previous Divine's life. My reward was becoming her right hand. But what does a right hand do, exactly? What is your hand capable of? It gives, it takes, it beckons. It makes a fist. Liliana and I extended the Divine's reach beyond the Grand Cathedral. We went where she could not. After Beatrix, I was tired of the position and wanted to return to the Seekers. But Justinia convinced me to stay. Her vision for the future gave me hope. You thought she could really change things? Justinia knew the war was coming long before it began. She tried to avert it, but the forces arrayed against her were too strong. Sometimes you have to break a bone so it can be reset. That's where the Inquisition comes in. It was to be the answer. A means to preserve as well as an agent for change. I only wish she had lived to see it. You don't seem to like your homeland much. My family polluted it for me. What little I saw of my homeland was through the bars of a gilded cage. My uncle treated me like a porcelain doll to be placed on a shelf and dusted only when necessary. Thus, I did not see Navarra, the real Navarra, until much later. By then, I realized I knew it not at all. Your uncle? What about your parents? They had the misfortune of taking the wrong side in the second attempt to overthrow King Marcus. The king executed them, but spared my brother and I since we were family and children at the time. Thus, we were raised by my uncle a mortaletasi who preferred the company of his corpses to the living. Your uncle was a mortaletasi? A death mage. He still is. My countrymen do not burn the dead. They bury them in special crypts. The mortaletasi supervise the crypts, like priests. Uncle Vestalis oversees the grand necropolis. Nevarans spend more time honoring dead relatives than they do with living ones. It is odd to be so fascinated with death and its trappings. I will never understand it. I'll let you get back to work. You're the we one they're calling here. the Herald. If you know a way to make them stop, I'm all ears. I don't. These things have a way of taking on their own life. But I'm glad it has not run to your head. I did not join the Order to adjust my faith so easily. But I appreciate what the Inquisition is trying to do, and your role in it. Though you may find not many Templars do. We're a distrustful lot by nature. I'd like your take on the Templar Order. It's a shadow of what it was. Where once we both protected all people from the dangers of magic, we now posture and grab at power. One day, I hope the Circles are again sanctuaries where mages can practice their craft. You're not going to rejoin the Order? When the Temple went up, your forces rescued those few of us still alive. My life is a debt I intend to repay, however I can. Do you have any idea what caused the explosion? No, I'm just a recruit. Belief and faith doesn't get you closer to the important meetings. Though, that distance did save my life. 
How did you come to be a Templar? It seemed the right thing to do. My family are tradesfolk in Denarim. I could have become a cobbler like my father, but this seemed better. It's a chance to uphold the Chantry's laws and help the mages through a troubled time. How can you see Templars as anything but oppressors? Some people would ask how I could see mages as anything but unstable weapons. What you forget when you ask that question is that they are people, as perfect as they are flawed. One person trying to do something can make a difference. You should keep that in mind, Harold. I will talk to you later. Walk in the Maker's grace. 